This is our time to ramp up. We see this as retooling manufacturing, transforming our manufacturing uh, for the, the future, for the next 30 years. It's great for us hourly workers to see all this, all this work coming in and signed orders. The ramp and the, and the growth in the company is actually the, what every manufacturing facility dreams of. We're going to ramp this business up across all of Pratt & Whitney from about 3,500 engines to over 7,000. We're investing in facilities. We're investing in equipment, we're investing in capital, and more importantly, we're investing in innovation. It's great to have developed technologies and now actually see them applied. We're doing quite a bit of automation work uh, currently in our factories, both in how we make our parts, as well as how we are assembling and disassembling engines. We're bringing in uh, five-axis mill turn machines. The machines that we've just recently got in have the ability to probe apart and offset that part for perfect loading positions. The one that you hear most about and the one that we're very excited about is additive manufacturing. These will be parts produced in metal that will be part of our production engines for NGPF. Uh, coatings is a, is a unique uh, science and it's the one that allows us to uh, continue to operate our, uh, our turbine airfoils at uh, tremendously uh, aggressive environments. Integrated bladed rotors, one forging that we machine the blades onto as part of that forging. And that saves us a tremendous amount of time in the manufacturing of the process, not to mention that part is actually better. We're finding that even taking operations that we do today, we could do them two, three, five times as fast in terms of uh, metal removal. We're doing some very unique things with blue light inspection. It's essentially a, a system that captures a 3D model of a product or a tool. It allows you to inspect your parts faster and it allows you to inspect your parts with greater accuracy. We've done a lot of lean transformation, a lot of lean technologies and principles that we have used here. Our goal is to dual source, multiple assembly test sites, multiple manufacturing sources for the same product, and uh, a supply, a raw material supply chain that can buffer against disruptions in the industry. We've changed from static build structures to moving assembly lines. We are uh, converting our uh, assembly methodology to horizontal, no pits, no ladders, no platform, ergonomically positioning every assembly sequence for our mechanics to do. We're doing a physical restructure where we're redoing the floors, repainting the ceiling, putting new equipment in, relaying out in the flow lines. We're investing in our supply chain, both internally and in our supply chain professionals. In the operations command center, this team is looking at information that's provided by our suppliers to see if we can proactively figure out what an issue might be. We have tons of new programs. We have we invested tons of money in capital. It's nothing but positive, you know, oozing out of every nook and cranny of this place. I love it. The growth is right in front of us. It's starting to really feel real. It's not just people talking. I get excited to come to work every day. We're leaving a legacy here, not just for ourselves, but the people that will follow us. We owe it to this great company to do everything possible to ramp up the company, meet customer expectations, drive our product costs for our shareholders, and really deliver what we have created.